Discord. Have you guys ever wished to have a bot tag on your user account to be able to log into your bot and act as if you were a user? Well, I certainly have myself. And in this video, I'm going to show you guys two incredible things. First, I'm going to show you how you can create a account on Discord that has that little bot badge. And I'm going to show you how you can use an incredible technique to log into this bot account and act as if you're just a normal Discord user. It's an insane technique that allows you to have a lot of fun, whether it's with trolling, debugging your Discord bot, or more. So let's get right into the video. Alright guys, this video is going to have two parts. In part one, we're going to get the verified bot tag on our bot account, and in part two, we are going to log into the bot account and chat like a regular Discord user, giving us access to cool features like animated emojis and a lot more. Now guys, before we continue on with the rest of the video, I just want to say that only 0.5% of you are subscribed to my YouTube channel. I do my best to put out these educative and constructive content for you guys on YouTube on how you can improve your Discord experience. So if you end up liking this video by the end, why not subscribe so you can get notified when I post more Discord tutorials just like this one. It's an always free process and you can unsubscribe later. Thank you guys for understanding and I hope to see you guys subscribe. Alright, so let's begin step one. So the Discord bot badge looks something like this. Once you click on the profile of the bot, you see this little badge that says bot on it. And if you click on the profile of the bot itself, you'll also see this similar badge. You'll see it in the members list on the side of your Discord server and even in chat. For example, if I go into my chat room and I use a bot, you'll see that there's going to be a little bot tag next to the username. In fact, some might actually have a verified bot tag. If you want to see how you can get your bot a verified bot tag, simply head down into the comment section of today's video and check the pinned or top comment. I'll have a link to a video that shows you how you can get the verified bot badge. So besides that, let's get into how you can get the bot badge on your Discord bot. So the first thing you're going to want to do is head over to Google and simply search up a Discord Developers Portal. And in the Discord Developer Portal, it should be uh, the first link right here. There will be a little section that contains all of the applications that you own. This includes uh, some of my personal bots like YouTube Bot, as well as some other various projects. So if you already have a bot, that's great, but I'm going to walk you through how you can create a new application and get the bot tag. So first press this new application button and name it something good. This will be either the name of your bot or if you plan to make this an account that you want to log into, the name of that. So for example, I'm going to make mine called um, rjane except cooler. All right, so after doing that, you can go ahead and press the create button. You'll appear on this page that looks something like this, where you'll see a client ID, client secret, and some other information. Over here, you can set an app icon. This app icon will essentially be the profile picture of the bot account. Um, over here, I'm going to try to choose something good, as uh, this will be the profile picture when I log into my bot in just a few minutes. So over here, I'm going to just uh, select a photo randomly, and it'll load up. So after doing that, you can go ahead and head over into this bot tab. Over here, you should press add bot. This will turn your application into a bot account on Discord. After doing so, press yes, do it. It will load up. And as you can see, the bot hasn't been created. You'll see a little token here. However, treat your token like your password. This is literally a password into your bot's account. So do not give this to anybody. Next, we're going to add the bot to our Discord server. So over here, if I head over into the general information and copy paste this client ID, so we're going to copy this right here. And then what I want you guys to do is head over back onto Google and type in invite a bot. Scroll until you see a little link like this. It will show invite bot and uh, the link, the URL will be discordapp.com oath2 authorize scope equals bot. So go ahead and press on that. 
After doing so, in the URL box of this page, you'll see something that says question mark client underscore ID equal to. Then there will be a number after that. That client ID is the ID for this bot called Xenon, but we want to add our own bot now. So you can go ahead and paste a new client ID that you just copied from the Discord developer portal. After doing so, now we can add the bot to our server. Over here, I'm going to select YouTube Cafe and give it administrator privileges as it's just a bot account. After completing this CAPTCHA that verifies that we're not a robot, the bot will join the server. It's authorized now, and we can head over into the chat window. Now, if you see this, it says RJ and Accept Cooler has joined the server, and it will have this little bot tag. If you can't find the user and it doesn't show up, simply head into server settings, go into the members list, and search for your bot over here. So here I can type in rjane accept cooler, and you'll see the bot is right here. Now, if the bot does not join your server, it means you do not have the managed server's permission. So make sure you have a role and it has administrator access or this managed server tick. So now that the bot is in our server, we have successfully gotten the bot tag. The bot tag is great and it looks extremely cool on our Discord account. But now I want to log into this account and chat as if I am a user. So what I have to do is head over to the bot tab of your account and click on this token. Go ahead and copy this. Remember, treat your token like your password and do not give it to anybody. After doing so, you're going to want to go into the website. This website is called botclient. TK. Note, the link of this website is updating very frequently, sometimes every day, sometimes even every week. So please check the description of this video for the updated link. You can also check the pinned comment. Now that we're on this page, you'll see a little box that says the token. Here we can paste in our token and press login. After doing so, it may be a little bit laggy and will take some time. However, after a few moments of loading up, the bot account will connect. And now, as you can see on this left side, we're in the YouTube cafe. We're literally logged into this user account. We are now a bot. Now normally, you can control your bot to make it say things in the chat. But this way, you are literally the bot account. You can make it do anything, including add attachments and do various things. This will also give you a free, basically, copy of Discord Nitro that gives you access to animated emojis and emojis from any server. Here, as you can see here, I have my custom emojis from my server, and I can even use animated ones, like, for example, this verified one. If I go ahead, send that in the chat, you'll see a little verified pop up. So great, it literally allows you to log in to a bot account gives you access to some free emojis, which is always great, and have some various other cool features. You can prank your friends and make it seem like a verified bot is always looking at them. In addition, you'll see that the verified bot has all of these cool tags. Discord staff, partner, hype squad, hype squad badges, Discord bug hunter, developer, and even the early supporter bat. This is extremely cool, and it allows you to essentially hack into a Discord bot. Now guys, thank you so much for watching this Discord video. I hope you enjoyed it and learned a lot. If this helped you, make sure to subscribe to my channel and leave a like on the video. With that, I'll see you guys in the next video.